Welcome to the exit ticket for module three, lesson seven, titled Ordering Integers and Other Rational Numbers. In math class, Christina and Brett are debating the relationship between two rational numbers. Read their claims below and then write an explanation of who is correct. Use a number line model to support your answer. First of all, Christina says, I know that three is greater than two and a half, so negative three must be greater than negative two and a half. Brett says, yes, three is greater than two and a half, but when you look at their opposites, their order will be opposite. So that means negative two and a half is greater than negative three. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the number line first. I see numbers uh, two and a half, three, negative two and a half, negative three. So I think a good idea would be to start my number line right in the middle with a zero. Uh, and because we're dealing with halves, I am gonna count by half. Uh, in order to get up to three, I'm going to need six halves. And I'm gonna go ahead and include that in the opposite direction. Now to number it, once again, I'm counting by half, so I wanna make sure that I use halves. All right, uh, so counting by halves, go ahead and put one half, then one, then one and one half, then two, two and one half, and three. Uh, now I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. The numbering is going to be a mirror image of the positive side. So the same distance away from zero, I would have the opposite of one half, which is negative one half, then negative one, negative one and one half, negative two, negative two and one half, negative three. Okay, there we go. We got a nice, beautiful number line uh, with numbers with an interval of one half. So let's go back to the two claims. First of all, Christina says she knows three is greater than two and a half. And actually, Brett agrees with her on this statement. So she says three is greater than two and a half. He agrees, yes, three is greater than two and a half. Uh, they are both correct on that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show that information on the number line. Remember, on the number line, numbers that are farther to the right are greater. So three is greater than two and a half. Three is greater than two and one half. Cool. Okay, so let's go to the next claim. Christina says, negative three must be greater than negative two and a half. Brett says, the order will be the opposite. So that means negative two and a half is greater than negative three. Well, let's go ahead and take a look back at the number line. And here is negative three, and here is negative two and a half. Now, if I wanna know which one is greater, I'm looking at the one that is farther to the right. So it looks like if I wanna know which one is greater, negative two and a half is actually farther to the right. Therefore, it is greater than negative three. Negative two and a half is in fact greater than negative three. Therefore, Brett is correct. So let's go ahead and write an explanation of who is correct. All right, I came up with my explanation right here. I believe Brett is correct because he says negative two and a half is greater than negative three. When I graphed the points on a number line, I saw that negative two and a half is farther to the right than negative three. So Brett's statement is correct. 
All right, here you go. Uh, this is module three, lesson seven, exit ticket. Uh, the main idea here was understanding the order of numbers. The numbers that are farther to the right on a number line are greater. The numbers that are farther to the left on a number line are lesser. We can expand this to think about a vertical number line. Remember, vertical means up and down. Uh, numbers that are farther up are greater. Numbers that are farther down are lesser. Did you meet today's objective? You'll know you did if you graphed the numbers correctly on the number line and you agreed with Brett's claim.